Hey guys, what's going on? Justin Floyd, Director of Digital Sales for TrueSpot. And today I'm out in St. Augustine, Florida at this Hyundai store you can see behind me. And we're getting these guys set up to track their keys and their cars with us. So let's hop on in and show you how we do it. All right guys, so one of the very first things we're gonna have to do to set you up to start tracking your keys, your cars, your jump boxes, your golf carts, anything you wanna track on the campus is set up a network. And the network consists of a couple things. The first, solar power gateways that we put on light poles, much like the one you can see right behind me. All we gotta do is band clamp it on. It's solar powered so it'll hold about a month's worth of charge so you don't have to worry about much other than that. Now on the inside of buildings, next to key machines, in service space, wherever those keys and different things might end up, we're gonna use these interior gateways. About the size of half a deck of cards, this plugs into a USB outlet or a power outlet, and that is gonna allow you to see those keys and cars as they float around inside of buildings. Now, lastly, all of these items that we place around the dealership are gonna to talk to a base station. That base station is gonna hold your data points, and that base station looks a lot like a wireless router, right? So that's what's gonna allow you to talk to the phone app, the desktop dashboard, to see where a key is at, where a car is at, where a jump box is, or anything else that you wanna track at your campus. All right, guys, so I wanna talk about two of the basic tags that we're using here at the Hyundai of St. Augustine store uh, to track where the vehicles are at and of course, where the keys are at. So for your vehicles, I'm using a simple hang tag, right? So this is gonna hang around the rear view mirror of the vehicle and allow you to track anywhere it is on the campus. Now, if you're saying to yourself, hey, what if I wanna track off campus? Understand I have additional and different tags that can do that. Now, while I'm mentioning different tags, understand that I also offer tags that have motion sensing in them to where if this tag moves in the middle of the night because someone is trying to steal maybe the wheels off of your vehicles or the Cadillac converters or the whole cars, you can get those alerts, right? So understand that I've got different tags depending on what the scenario is. But for the sake of this, these guys simply just wanna know, hey, are the vehicles on this campus or are they over at their VW campus so they can sell and show them and be more efficient? This is my basic tag, right? So I've got a QR code on the back that's gonna allow me to connect it to this specific piece of inventory. And when we hop over to the phone app, I'll show you exactly how to do that. But once you've connected it, all I have to simply do, throw it around the rearview mirror, and we're now tracking where this vehicle is. Now for the keys, a little bit different shape tag, but same idea. I've got this triangle shape tag right here. And on the back, I've got a QR code that's gonna allow me to connect it to this specific stock number. So when I search out this specific stock number in the phone app or the desktop dashboard, you're gonna see where the keys are at, whether they're in a desk or in the car uh, or in on a keyboard or on a pegboard or whatever the case may be, and the car is out here, of course, on the campus. So let's hop over to the phone app so that we can show you exactly what that looks like. All right, guys, so here we are on the phone app, right? I've got it sitting up right over here, so I'm mirroring my phone onto the screen, and I wanna show you two very important things. The first being, hey, just how do I run searches, right? For any of my staff that's gonna be mobile, they're gonna be running around, whether they're lot porters, whether they're sales guys and mechanics, their techs, their detail guys, whoever they are, what is it like to run a search to find a key and then go find a car? And then secondarily, how do I connect up these tags to specific pieces of inventory, whether it be the car, whether it be the key, or both? So let's talk about searches first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to that find a key and find a car button, right? So I tap on that button, from here I can run my search, right? So I can jump in here, I can type in a stock number, a partial, the whole thing, the VIN, right? If I tab over, I can search by year, make and model, and this can be dynamic to what you have in your inventory. So I can scroll through here, so Aston Martins, if I said, hey, show me Aston Martins I have, boom, it shows me the one and the three keys that they are uh, tracking it with, right? And then the free search over here will let me search through those descriptions if I'm looking for a blue car, heated seats, whatever that item may be, right? So let's cancel out of that and just kind of drop back here. So if I wanted to run a search, let's pretend it was this Aston Martin just for the sake of it. It's a cool car anyway, right? So if that was the car I was searching for, I would click into it. From there, it's gonna default and immediately show me the vehicle first if I'm tracking the vehicle. So I can see her on the map, it's showing me exactly where the vehicle's at and telling me, right? So it's saying, hey, it's on the front line lot in the south corner. Uh, and then I can zoom in and out on this map. Uh, if I'm there on the campus, it'll show me as a blue dot on the map. So in comparison, if I'm walking towards, if I'm walking away from it, I'll know which way I'm going, right? Now, key-wise, I can jump over, boom, it'll show me where one of those keys are. So this key, it's telling me, hey, this key is actually in the Volkswagen sales uh, area in the key track machine as we speak. So as a sales guy, if I was showing this car, and I talk to a customer, I go, oh, okay, well, I can see that the key is in the key track machine, car sitting right out front. Yeah, let me grab that key and we'll walk out together. No more of this, 
Uh, well, let me go find the key and find the car, and I'll pull it up for you, and then I disappear for 20 minutes, right? I have just eliminated all that. So I've made the guy more efficient, and he's providing a better sales experience, right? If I need to jump over to that other key, boom, it'll tell me where that key is as well, and show me it's in the Volkswagen sales in the Mid-South sales desks, right? So this one's in a sales desk, right? Now, if I get over to this area and I cannot find this key, what I can do is I would appear as a blue dot, I'd get close to it as I can, and then I can hit this find a tag button that you'll see up on the screen. Now, if I hit that, it'll start pinging that tag. You'll see a white ball appear here right in the middle where you're seeing it kind of think right now. And then once that ball appears, it'll start pinging that tag. And then as I walk closer to it, it'll move down to that dark blue section. If I walk the wrong way, it'll move into that red section. What's really cool too, additionally on top of that is when I ping it, there is an LED inside of this tag that will flash a couple times. So let's say that you're standing in front of a pegboard with like 200 keys on it. You could do this and then see it flash and go, oh, it's up here and be able to locate it, right? Now this will get granular. It'll walk you right up to where that tag is, but it's nice to know you have that available to help you find that tag. So when it comes to running searches, for cars, I can get you within a couple spots. For keys, I can walk you right up to the desk that it's in. I, if it's outside and you see that it's in a car, you can hold up to the window. It'll let you know if it's inside the car. Heck, if you got a key track, it was notorious for this when I worked in car sales, you would put the key back in the key system, but it wouldn't register. So a lot of times it would say it's still checked out to Justin from two days ago, but the key's actually in the machine. At that point, I can run this search, hit the find a tag, and just hold it up to each drawer. And when it starts freaking out saying immediate, I know that it's in that drawer. And at that point, we could open it up, either look for the tag to be flashing, or I could press all the keys back down and we could find it, right? So you can now locate these so you're not wasting money recutting keys for keys that are already there. They're already at the dealership somewhere. They're in someone's desk. They're in the key machine and just nobody knows it, right? There's all these different things that happen where you end up recutting keys and just wasting money and wasting time in a sales experience that could be as quick as, hey, I can see the keys in the key track, car's right out front, let me grab it and we'll walk up together. Or, hey, let me grab the key, I see where it's at. Car's in the back in an area that customers don't typically go. Let me pull it around for you, right? So that's what it looks like to run a search on here. So very easy to do. Now let's talk about connecting these tabs up, right? So I wanna connect a tag to a piece of inventory. Now there's two different ways you're gonna do this. One, if the car is brand new, maybe it's a trade-in, something that's not in the inventory feed, okay, we'll go to True Tag Management. Now at this opportunity, this car is not living in my inventory feed or my DMS, and that's what you're seeing pull across here, all these vehicles. So if it's not here, what I could do is I could walk out of the car, open the driver's side door, and you know that barcode that's on the, the, uh, the door? I can scan that. There's a button right up at the top of the screen here in the corner that I can click that will allow me to scan that door jam, right? And I can scan that. From there, it'll drop it in here. And then you would see the, the VIN and the stock number. So that's one opportunity I can do. From there, once it's manually added it, I could then hit that tag a key button or hit that tag a car button. Now, for the sake of this, I'm gonna show you on this very first one, this uh, BMW 4 Series, right? So if I wanna tag a key or tag a car or both, depending on what your dealership decides to do, it's very simple. So we'll start with the key first. All I gotta do is hit tag a key. Now from there, I can either type in those numbers and letters that are on the back of the tag, right? So you can see them on there, but that's, that's a big pain in the butt and I don't wanna worry about messing it up. Or I can simply hit that scan button, tap that, and then I can just scan this tag, boom, and it will connect it up. Now, this tag is a dead promo tag, so it's not gonna connect, that's what you're seeing here. But if it's a tag assigned to this dealership, boom, I've now connected this tag to that specific stock number and VIN. Now, if I wanted to do that, same thing. I would wanna do that same thing for the car, right? So I'd go to that car tag. On the back of the car tag, I've got that QR code with those numbers and letters. All I gotta do, tag car, scan the tag, boom, and then we're good to go. We've now connected up a key and a car um, tag to this vehicle, right? So it's a very simple process. If I was seeing a truck come in and I was the guy assigned to going and checking those vehicles in, I could take a handful of these in each pocket, walk out there, tag the key, tag the car immediately. And then if those cars are going through recon because they're cars we bought at auction and we want to track it as it changes hands, or maybe it's a new car that's just going to, you know, PDI, uh, detail, photos, and then land on the lot, we can track through that. You know, whatever the case may be, we can immediately start tracking the keys, start tracking the cars as this moves around. So that's what it looks like to connect your tags up and to run a search. Now, there are other things that you can do on this app. I will just quickly touch on them and explain more of them in the dashboard. On here, you're gonna see dashboard. If I jump in here, there, there's gonna be tons of tiles here with different metrics of things like, hey, last sighting, show me vehicles that haven't been on the lot in the last four to 24 hours. Boom, it's gonna present a car to me. At this point, I could then look and see if there's any notes related to this car, um, or maybe I'm looking at a manager log of something outside of our app or dashboard, but no, you can take advantage of it. There's all kinds of different tabs in here that you can do, and I'll go over those next when we jump into the dashboard. Now, the next thing I just wanna briefly touch on is recon. Understand that once you are using our tracking tags, Imagine 
if you had a tag on your car, and now as it moved through the recon process, when it moved into the bay to get the mechanical work looked at, what if it checked it in automatically to that step, right, in your recon process? And then when that car left and started moving through your process, what if it checked it out and checked it into the next one, right? When it goes into PDI, it checks it in automatically. When it comes out, it checks it out. When it rolls into the photo booth, it checks it in. When it leaves, it checks it out. Well, we can automate that process using our tracking tags and on top of that, in our recon software, if you ever want to learn about it, I'd be happy to set up a demo. What if I told you every single person in the process can now find the keys to find the cars to do the work faster? You can make everyone more efficient in this process using True Recon. So that's my 50 cent sell. If you want to learn more about it, hit me up. I'd be more than happy to set up a demo, whether it be for lot management, whether it be for recon, or even uh, Fixed Ops 360 if you want to track cars and keys through the, uh, the service side of things, right? So just understand that there are some additional things you can access here. If these guys were used in recon, I'd pull up and show you some of the different things that you could do, but they're currently just tracking on the retail side. So let's hop over to the desktop dashboard and I'll show you a little bit more. All right, guys, so here we are on the desktop dashboard. now. I'm not gonna go over everything that's in here. That's what demos are for, but I want you to understand some basics and how you can use this tool outside of just simply finding a key and finding a car. So the very first thing that I wanna start you on is just understanding the process and kind of what you're seeing. Now on here, you're seeing the map. You're seeing where we've geofenced off all the areas after we've created that network. And right now I have this set to vehicles. So you're seeing how many vehicles live in each geofenced area, right? Now I can click over to keys and it's gonna show me different counts. Obviously there's gonna be more keys living inside the buildings and less living outside right and then, then i can turn on pins and start to see where everything is at now before i get going here i just want to show you this is their main hyundai store right if i zoom way out up here this is where their volkswagen stores so it's about a mile or two down the road so understand that they are tracking at both campuses so if somebody calls in and asks about a used car they can quickly see which campus is at now, if they had campuses that were multiple miles away and there was five of them, they could do that exact same thing. So it's kind of nice that they know that they can do that. And then on top of that, they can view just what's at the Volkswagen campus if they want. You know what I mean? So if they just want to look at what's here or if they want to jump over to that Hyundai store, they can do just what's at the Hyundai store as well. So <coughs> understand that's what we're doing here with these guys. Now, first thing I want to talk about related to this is just some basics. How can I use this for different situations with different staff members? The first thing I wanna show you is, hey, at the end of a night, I'm looking at this campus. Let's say I'm a sales manager at Hyundai and I'm closing for the night. I wanna make sure every key makes it back in the building. Perfect. Let's go over to the keys tab. Let's turn on every pin. I'm now looking at every single key that's on this campus, right? I have made this incredibly easy to understand if there's something that's not in the building, okay, well show me what it is, right? I can either click into this geofenced area and it'll tell me, hey, I've got two keys out here. And if so, I can click on it and it'll present me with a list of those two keys out there. So at this point we know, hey, why are there two keys out there? We potentially left it inside this Ford Escape and inside of this Volkswagen ID, right? Or is there somebody standing out there with them in their pocket, right? Maybe a sales guy's out there, maybe he's pulling door handles, right? Maybe he's checking door locks, you never know. But for the sake of this, I could quickly grab a sales guy and go, hey, put this stock number in your phone. Uh, you know, last four of it is uh, 4387, and the last one is uh, 0998, right? And send some guys out to go find these, and then they could use their phone, get out there, use the phone to do the, uh, the find a tag thing that we were talking about earlier, and it'll walk them right up to that tag in case it's under the car, in the car, whatever the case may be. So sales managers, I can quickly eliminate having to risk leaving keys inside of cars where somebody could get in it and simply drive it off the lot, right? So a great way to use this tool. Now, I wanna show you how to use this tool from an opening duty. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch back to counts and go to vehicles, right? And I'm gonna scroll across here. Now across the top, I have several different tiles that you can take advantage of, but I wanna focus on last sightings. So that's gonna be the one I'm highlighting right now. Now what's cool about this is if I come in in the morning and I say, okay, I'm looking at last sightings and I can see we have one vehicle that hasn't been seen on the lot in over 72 hours. At that point, I could click into it and go, okay, well, let's see if it, make it made it back onto the lot. Because if so, no big deal. But I do have questions as to why it was gone for that period of time. So cool, I can see that the car made it back. If the car was not back on the lot, at this point, I'm going to start going, okay, did we loan this car out? Did somebody work numbers on this car, right? I've got a stock number right here. Or I can come down here uh, to the vehicle activity and go, are there notes related to this? Maybe somebody dropped in a note and said, hey, we sent it off to a vendor to get some work done, right? That's why it's been gone for a few days. So easy enough to understand if something's going on, I wanna see those notes right here so I can easily take advantage of them. Now, if I need to add a note, there's a couple buttons up here. 
One, I can add a note up here and I can tag people. So I could tag myself if I needed to, right? And go, okay, Justin Fuller uh, dropping off at Tent Shop or something, right? So that me as the manager, I would know, hey, we dropped this off the Tent Shop. It'll ping me. I'll get a notification on my phone and in the desktop dashboard to know there's something going on with this car. <clears throat> Secondarily, we can do checkouts, right? So if you want to set up dispositions for your store, right? There's this basic. They just have service loaner. But maybe you send a lot of cars off to a, a shop to get work done. Maybe you don't do your own service, right? Maybe you have outsourced service. Um, so maybe you're sending it off for a recall, right? And you want to notate that. Maybe you want to notate it because it has a dead battery and you want your porter to be able to look through a list and be able to go find cars and take advantage of those. You absolutely can. Now, if I mark a disposition, what it's going to do is when I'm looking here, it will actually highlight this vehicle in red. So I would know ahead of time before I go to show that, hey, there's something going on with this car. I need to pay attention and find out what's going on with it. So just understand that you can drop in notes, you can tag people, it'll give them notifications, and you can notate and create dispositions if you want for your particular store. That's 100% custom customizable. You can do it in the dashboard. So opening and closing duties, these are fantastic things that your sales management staff can use to make sure we are taking care of assets at opening and closing. Now, secondarily, if I'm the GM, if I'm anybody who's managing inventory, whether it be if this is since I'm looking at lot management right now, I'm looking at the sell side, I want to be able to come up here and go, okay, show me locations of inventory, right? So that's what I'm seeing and I'm highlighting right here. Well, this is fantastic because one, if I need to know, okay, well, how many cars do I have in my recon lot? Boom, I've got one car sitting over there. It's a Tiguan, right? If I need to ask about it, I can find out what's going on with it. Better yet, why do I have 39 vehicles in Volkswagen sales, right? Now, these guys are tracking cars through their service department with us, so they are going to have service vehicles over there, and that's what you're going to see, these uh, white and black service. That is the tags that we are using for that. But if these were retail vehicles, it'd be a different conversation, right? So I want to be able to quickly put this store together and understand what's going on. So if I'm looking at the service lot and I've got vehicles that are sitting over there that aren't uh, you know, service vehicles that are retail vehicles, I need to get them moved. And that's what this is all about, is being able to understand exactly what inventory is where at any given point in any given time. So it's very helpful to be able to click on this and go, okay, I got four cars sitting in the service, you know, and then I can start doing things like turning on pins and seeing where they're at. So for the sake of this, okay, I've got four retail vehicles here that are sitting in this back lot back here. Well, I'm not going to sell them if they're not in front of customers. I need to get those moved out. Right, so when it comes to managing uh, your inventory, whether you're an inventory manager, a used car sales manager, or a new car sales manager, hey man, why do I have these fars, these four cars sitting back there in service where no one can see them to buy them? This is how I create old age units, right? They get misparked and people forget about them. It happens. So understand that you can do that. <clears throat> Now, on that side of things while I'm mentioning it, I want to jump over and talk about your inventory manager for two different things uh, that you can take advantage of. Well, this one's going to apply to sales and inventory. The first is, let's talk about old age units, right? If I want to click to zero to nine days, hey, show me the cars that are zero to nine days old, right? I can see where every single one of these is sitting. Now, these guys just got set up, so uh, you know this is going to kind of filter out as time goes, but let's pretend for just one second that this was 89 plus days old cars, right? If it was, I could quickly go, okay, are all these vehicles in a retail area? And if so, yes, great, we're doing just fine. It just turns out maybe I bought a car that's an odd color, maybe I have it priced incorrectly, but I can address that. However, if any of these potential old age units were sitting back here in service lots or places where customers can't see them, right? Maybe it's in my employee parking lot, then I have no chance of ever selling that car and it's just gonna continue to age. So you can start to look at old age units and understand exactly where they're sitting at on your campus. All right guys, so for my inventory managers, I wanna show you a really cool tool and way you can use this. So on the searches, you have your standard search up in their center where you can type in anything you want, right? A stock number, a VIN, whatever it may be. But more importantly, you can search out multiple vehicles at once using the dashboard. So over here on the far left, I can come in here and say, okay, I want every 2023 to 2024, uh, I'm going to go for Hyundai since we're looking at the Hyundai location right now. And maybe I go for that like Ionic 5, right? So I come down here, I select the Ionic 5, and then I could even go by trim level if I wanted to. So at this point, I can turn the pins on and I can see where every single one of those vehicles is sitting. So if I'm the one trying to clean up the lot, make sure all of them are next to each other. So when a, a, a customer's out there with a sales guy, he can just walk him down the line. Well, I already know. I've got one sit or two sitting in the new car lot. I've got three sitting over a CPO and I've got two down here in customer parking. So I may wanna move these all next to each other so that I can keep the, or the, the lot nice and organized, right? I can do this with every single thing. So where we used to have to send around a porter to write down on a piece of paper cars that were misplaced out of lines, right? When you're in a line of F-150s or Honda Civics or whatever the case may be. Now you can simply come through here and go, okay, now I need to look at my Santa Fe's and see where every single one of those is sitting. Okay, well, let me jump over to my Palisades. Here's where all my Palisades are sitting, right? You know how many you have and you know where they're at. 
Uh, so this makes it very easy. And I can I can even filter this by new and pre-owned, guys. So I want to come up here. I have all these different filters up top that I can use. New, pre-owned, tagged, untagged, right? So if you're trying to figure out vehicles that are tagged but you didn't have a key or vice versa, you can look at that here. If you want to look at stuff that has photos or stuff that needs photos, know that you can do that as well. So I'll clear this out. And really quickly, I can click on needs photos, right? But I can very quickly turn off the map, look at this and put together a story to understand, hey, what has photos, what doesn't and why? So if I come up here and go, okay, I wanna see all of the vehicles that are in Hyundai service, boom, it gives me this list right here. I can export this list. I've got an export button up at the top of the screen. Uh, it's right by the map button. So there's an export button, I click on that, boom, it creates a CSV file, so an Excel file. Uh, and then I can shoot that over to somebody. So this way, if I wanna go, hey, I see that you got four vehicles sitting over in service that are retail vehicles. Uh, do you want me to come get them moved? Um, or are you guys doing stuff? So this way your service and sales department can talk to each other, right? So understand that you can search out multiple vehicles at once. You can turn on the map, you can see where they're sitting, you can do all these different things. So very helpful for your inventory manager uh, to understand where inventory is. Is it where it needs to be? Is it placed in a position uh, to be retail ready? Manual entries, I just wanna show you really quickly Anything that you add in that is not um, already a stock number of VIN is gonna appear here. So if you wanna add in like a jump box or you wanna do all your dealer plates, uh, you wanna do a golf cart, you know, whatever the item may be, if you manually enter it, you create an entry for it, this is where you can quickly see what those items are. So these manuals over here are gonna be trade-ins that they've taken, right? So you're gonna see a stock number of VIN and then when that vehicle lands inside the inventory feed, it'll merge those up. All right, guys, so hopefully that gives you a good understanding of how the LM360 or Lot Management 360 tool works for TrueSpot. Now, understanding that I've got a lot of different tags, these guys were using my classic tags, right? The key and the car tags, you can do one or the other or both. I've got battery packs and OBD ports and all these different things that you can use. I've got tags with uh, motion sensing alerts and different things. So understand that this can be custom to your store. Or if you wanna take it kind of to a sidestep, I can do this in the service department too. So if you're looking for a way to track your vehicles, I've got hang tags that are trackable. I've got key tags that are trackable. I've got matching numbers that you can connect to an RO. Right, so there's a lot of different things that we can talk about related to your store, and we can take it even to that third level of what we do, which is using our tracking tags as your vehicles move through your recon process. You could look into True Recon and understand how our cars can track as they move through the process and let you know times in each step, times in the total step, and then of course, helping your staff in that process find the keys cars to do the work faster. So a lot of different things out there and available to you. I'd love to set up a demo and talk to you, of course, a little bit more about the dashboard, uh, the app, and then your store, right? Understanding if you've got parking structures, which I've set up. If you've got spillover lots all over town, I can set that up. If you wanna track it multiple campuses at once, I can set it up much like this store, they have the two. So a lot of different things and variables that can apply specifically to your store. Chances are I've probably done them, but I'd love to have a conversation with you. So if you wanna give me a call, text, email, all my info will be up on the next screen. Of course, I'll also have that link uh, to set up a demo. It'll all be in the description too, in case you wanna grab it there and reach out to me. Other than that, look forward to hearing from you and talk to you soon. Later guys!